Hello, Pastor Deborah here again of the Hidden Kingdoms channel here on YouTube. I'm coming to you with another part of the King and Kingdom series, our leadership development, spiritual teaching, education that you must have. This is going to be part number six of the return of the King where we can say, now comes the days of the kingdom. And we've been learning that we are a king. And we have a kingdom to bring to the earth. But we have to learn how to speak this to ourselves first. How to understand that we are a king. And we have a kingdom to bring. So here, we are continuing on with some questions I used to get asked by many people when I started learning that I was a king. Not a queen, even though I'm a female, I'm a king. And that I am an offspring of a god, which probably makes me a god myself. And that I was a minister, a called out one, an apostle, a sent one. And I had gifts to give to the world, to humanity, to nature, to the earth itself. And I used to get asked many questions about who I was. Because I was always strange to most people. I went to what you would call church. But I didn't act like a church member. And then I used to get asked, and this one pastor asked me, what church I belonged to. Where was I registered? I said, excuse me? I am a king from a kingdom. There is no church in this kingdom. I'm a citizen of a country called heaven. He said, no, 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 no. You don't understand. You have to be registered somewhere. Like we register our cars. I said, excuse me? I had trouble with religious people. Still do. And these were, I got asked many questions. If you looked at the previous videos, you'll see. And we're going to pick up with some of those questions that I got asked. So you on the inside of you can start developing a mindset, a new one, in your spirit, your forever person, that will then transfer that new knowledge to your soul. Then your soul will speak it out through poems, books, lectures, teaching, prayers. I, I did not fit anywhere anymore. Not in man's religion or man's church. I was a citizen of a kingdom. Heaven. I became a king when I was reborn. Out of death. Yeah. You may call it resurrection. Other people call it incarnation. I came back more powerful than I ever was. But we're going to pick up with some of the questions I would get asked and how I would respond to people. Whether it's now on social media, whether it was in emails, on the phone. When I went to community work, I had to have this information. This whole new way of thinking about myself, who I was, and where I was from, so that I could speak for the King and the Kingdom. But first, let's open up with prayer. Prayer is always foundation. You be a praying person. Dear God of creation, God of children, God of the kingdom, we come to you and ask your favor that you will teach us, help us to learn and understand more about you and about your kingdom and that we are spiritual kings here on earth so that all in nature can see you and your kingdom and that we can do battle as mighty kings, soldiers and warriors and set spiritual captives free from ignorance and darkness and slavery. Father, be with us as we learn. 
And as we grow and develop, in your precious name, God of creation, amen. As I said, when I was first learning how to be a king from a kingdom and not a church member of a religion, I got asked some strange questions. One of them was from a pastor. He asked me where I was registered. I said, what do you mean? He said, you know, you have to be registered like we register our cars in a religion, in a church. I said, excuse me? I am a king. And I am a citizen of a kingdom called heaven. I am not a member of a religious group here on planet Earth. Well, that shocked him, and he didn't understand it. That's what you call religion. I had to learn that I was not in a religion anymore. I was not to be a church member or change affiliations or denomination. I was a king, a prince of a kingdom, not of this world. So I began when people would ask me questions. Now I want to pick up with question number 10 that I got asked a lot. And I would come up with the answer. They asked me, what church do you go to? I go, excuse me? Church? I am the church, I would say. That's a called out one, a minister of the king. One who was called out from the ways of death. That means spiritual separation from the king. From hell and the grave. And from the world and flesh and darkness. That means spiritual ignorance. And away from sin, rebellion, and idolatry. I was a minister. A prince, a king under a kingdom, and it's king. Number 11, I am to sit in the king of kingdom of the, in the king of the kingdom of heaven's spiritual council. Now I'm to listen carefully to his words and then carry out his desire as he desires to happen within people and on the earth to get his will done as it is done in heaven. Well, I had to study what his will was. What are his desires? And guess where I went? Isaiah 60, Isaiah 61 and 62. And we're going to get to those. I had to know what was heaven like. What was this territory like? So I sat under as a student under the teacher, Dr. Miles Monroe of the Bahamas Faith Ministries. He grew up on a colony under Queen Elizabeth until the time of the Bahamas became free and their own government. But because he knew about kingdoms, colonies. God used him to teach us that we were ignorant kings about the kingdom of heaven and that we were ignorant about ourselves as kings. I read all his books, watched him every Sunday night live from the Bahamas. I studied. I took his notes. I read. I listened to him. He was my spiritual teacher. He's in heaven now. Him and his wife died in a plane accident in about 2014. He changed my life. I pulled my membership out of a church denomination and never looked back. I studied, took notes, read, studied, followed him for years and years and years. And you may have to do the same because most religious leaders do not understand king and kingdom. Number 12. After I sit in the king's spiritual council, as his offspring, as his prince, as his king, as his church, the called out ones, then I am anointed and I am charged, given power spiritually, I swore an oath to carry out his laws, 
his rules and to bring his message of reconciliation, agape love, a future of his kingdom to all of humanity and all of nature. And I learned as long as I do his exact will in and from the foundation of his agape love, I will be spiritually protected, blessed, and healed. Number 13. I learned I was to proclaim, to teach, to speak to the precious hum little ones, all of humanity, both those who do not yet believe in him as the God of creation, and those who do but are so lost in ignorance and religion that I am to bring the kingdom of heaven's message to them, that they are a king, a lord, and he is their father. I had a message to bring. Number 14. I am his, the father's, the king of heaven, spiritual representative, a shepherd, a pastor. I'm a mother, a comforter to both sets of spiritual children, both lost and found. I go out to where those who are lost are. I go among the most hardened criminals of this world. Number 15. I am to speak, proclaim, prophesy His words to all spiritual humanity and to do His spiritual work of proclaiming His spiritual freedom from spiritual slavery, darkness, to the bondage of the fear of death to all of humanity, for they're all taken captive in a spiritual kingdom of darkness, Satan's kingdom. I'm also to proclaim, to comfort spiritually, and to heal all of them identity as an offspring of God of creation, a king from the kingdom of heaven. I was to give to them spiritually, freely, to all the oil of joy for a spiritual heart that is in mourning, it's filled with sadness and pain, feeling the loss of something and trying to fulfill it with everything but what they really need. I was to take to them and to freely give to all of humanity, spiritually, the spiritual garment of praise. That's new spiritual clothes, a white robe of righteousness, where they have been wearing the spirit of heaviness, of mourning, sadness, pain, which was a heavy load that they have been bearing. I was to freely, spiritually loose them, set them free in their mind, their thoughts, their spirit, unbind them from ignorance. Those spiritually appointed who have been spiritually chosen to die this spiritual separation from God due to the fall, the disobedience of all of humanity's ancestors, Adam, in the Garden of Eden. We all fell, slipped into death, which is separation from God of creation, our Father, I was to reach out to all of them who did not yet believe in him and his kingdom and of his words that were living and to teach them and show them 
but they were all under spiritual judgment and condemnation, living in ignorance and death from Adam's rebellion, which God told Adam, if you ate from a tree, you would surely die. That meant a spiritual death, loss of light and truth and knowledge. And I want to end right here. I don't want to go too far. This is pretty deep stuff. So let's end and say, keep studying. I'll get back to you in the next one. When we pick up with more of the message that I was to bring to all of humanity. That you are a king from a kingdom. And there is a Father who loves you. You are an offspring of a God. And you have to be returned to the kingdom. So that all here on planet Earth and everywhere else will know that you are the righteous one. The one who was loved and in the light of the king of the kingdom of heaven. So you be encouraged Listen to this again and you will learn. This is Pastor Deborah, and I'll catch up with you again in the next part. Should be part number seven. And then we got to get back to Genesis to learn about creation. So I'll catch you later. Please look at the website at www.agapeloveishere.org. The YouTube channel is the podcast show. And learn and study about yourself. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.